Hi, I'm Yolanda Brown and we're here at Henry Wood Hall with Vasily Prochenko speaking about how do we build a diverse audience and surely getting people on board from an earlier age would be the way forward. How would you go about that? I think you need to encourage everyone. Mm. Every child, regardless of the age of, or background, uh, to come and try classical music. On a personal level, trying the instrument, trying to play instruments, we found that a vast amount of the peop- not just children, but of every, every single person in the country wanted to learn an instrument. It's over 90%. Wow. And uh, to me, it's very important to encourage those young people. For many years, I had this program in Harmony in Liverpool, uh, which was supported by uh, the British government, which gave a chance to many, many, many children in quite deprived areas to learn an instrument and to find different uh, motivation in their lives. We also had this program signed by the regional orchestras a few years ago, which allowed to every school child to visit the concerts of the orchestra for free. And millions of children were passing through this program. Millions of them came to the concert hall. And I think if you have to give a chance and then, of course, everyone will understand, will realize, is it something what he or she wants to continue to learn? Or is it probably something just temporary? But playing musical instruments and being in the music is one of the most beautiful things. It's something what gives you a chance also to explain yourselves through the music, through the sound. It's something what gives you a chance to understand the others mm-hmm. through the music. We are in many ways connecting people. Connecting not just on the concerts, but connecting people in their lives. You know, through the singing, the choral singing, which was a core of English society, sadly now it is out from the school programs. I would really encourage every school to bring it back. The music lessons in the school, it is something which is also very important. It's not just language skills, math or literacy. You have to learn the broad variety of disciplines to find out who are you, to find out what is the most harmonized or most prolific way for you to all your life and to understand what is the core essence of your wishes and of your desires. For that, I would like to encourage everyone, every child, every adult, every retired person <laughs> to come and try the music instrument uh, it's beautiful. What is the power of music? Why do you think, even even if you're not learning an instrument, why do you think seeing an orchestra maybe, learning about the music that comes from uniting together, what is the power within that? There's a huge power of learning, first of all, how to work together. Mm. This is what we need nowadays. Look, in the orchestra there's around 20 or 30 different instruments and people do very different, even physically, it's very dif- different job. Yes. Very different activity. Some do that, some blowing into <laughs> instruments, some hitting the instruments. And they all learned how to play their instrument in a very different way. But only together we can make the sound. The same in a society. All different jobs work perfectly only if everyone acknowledge importance of everyone else and do the job perfectly. For that, the orchestra is one of the examples how the society can progress forward, how we all can, can make amazing things. And regarding the language skills, uh, I think one of the beauties of the music and one of the differences with language, any actual physical or wording language, yes. is music usually have no doubts and emotions when you listen to music you immediately understand if it's sad or if it's jolly if it's dramatic and everybody shares this vision rather than with the words there are so many transcription of the words and understanding underlying of the words in the modern language that people are not unified enough in their understanding so for that uh, the music is champion
touch again on the early years, actually, before we start thinking about sort of the pipeline even of musicians coming into the orchestra. What is it about sharing music education with that younger, early years? I mean, I see it with Yolanda's band jam on CBeebies, how children just are ready to absorb the music. But of course, we need to provide that to them. They need to have access. Why and how can we provide more access for young children to have music education? I think we, first of all, we have to provide it within the families, mm. obviously. Each and every family, uh, making music with your children is one of the most beautiful things, either singing or banging the drums or playing any instrument. Uh, it's one of the basic things which actually makes the relation between any child and parent much closer and any relatives closer. This is something which can unite the family. Even something as simple as nursery rhymes. It doesn't have to be anything virtuoso even. I don't think you have to aim for virtuoso. That thing about a virtuoso, I think first step is just to understand that making any sound is beautiful. The children who learn music instrument, they improve their skills in the other disciplines too. Yeah. It improves their attention, it, it improves their focusing, it improves also the, it broadens their horizons mm -hmm. about learning different skills. More different things you learn in your life, larger your education, more choice do you have for the future, where to go and what to do with your future. And speaking about that relevancy, I mean, how do you keep the orchestra up with the times, even when we talk about education and then technology as well? Uh, over the last months, uh, of course, all the technology uh, regarding the online education, regarding the online performances uh, made a major step forward. Yes. We were forced to it, let's face it. We probably wouldn't do it without <laughs> this forcing. It is still quite far from being, from having the same experience online as experience life. Maybe this gap will never be breached. Uh, we'll see in the future. So far, you can't really make the online performances equally good as live performances. Maybe it won't happen simply because we need to share emotions sitting elbow to elbow to each other, not just in the works, but also in the public. But some of the aspects, some of the aspects regarding distribution of online individual education, we moved forward so much that some of it can be done mm -hmm. online, even if I still think that only partially. So this face-to-face -face contact is very, very important. But also as an orchestra, we were able to record so much of the live streamed concerts. We're all looking forward into the next territories. We, the orchestra was recording music for computer games, for instance, for yes. many years, and there's many more projects to do the same. I think we always will encourage the new composers to write the music, and uh, it is my credo, and I, for many years I was saying that we have to perform the newly composed pieces. We have to give a chance for composers, especially local composers, because if we want, who will? The music has to be played to be evaluated by the public and to be accepted by the public or maybe rejected by the public. We are now at the moment, we know probably one out of 10,000 pieces written in the history. That's what performed frequently. Wow. But it's only time and public which will say and which will show which pieces will be acknowledged as the masterpieces and which pieces will be neglected. Yes. To be able to do so, People need to be able to hear the music, and we need to perform that music. Otherwise, compu the composers are writing just virtual pieces of music which nobody Gets ever hear. will hear. Yeah. And uh, literally, we are very open to collaborate with any institutions in the modern, in the digital world, in the classical music, in the West End, in rock music, pop music. Music is music. <laughs> Vasily, it's so refreshing to hear your passion for keeping the orchestra current, for bringing new people to the orchestra and to the music. Has there been a lot of work for you then to convince others that traditional way is not the only way and that these ways are the way forward? I think in the orchestra, vast majority of people, they want to explore something new, want to come to some new territories. 
it is very important to keep the balance. So that it's like with a diet, you need to have a variety of meals, a variety diet, of yes. <laughs> uh, food and very balanced diet. You can't eat just sweets because it's not good for you. This is true. The same with the music. You need to have the balance between performing and listening different uh, types of music, different styles of music and uh, to, to listen to. Mm. You have to ask an audience, I think you have to have this balance. However, this is very individual. It is up to everyone to decide what type of music, what styles of music is best for them to, to feel better.